Hi, I'm Fulin and today we're going to have some interview with some of our students. They will be talking about their preparation for the IELTS mock test tomorrow. Let's check it out. That's what is important in preparing IELTS exam. Uh, of course, it is important for the day when we are going to do our official IELTS test uh, to be more prepared, to be more, I guess, skillful and not, uh, I guess, shocked. To train our brain as well, to know, I guess, the structure of the IELTS. I think first you need to eat a lot because you will have like three hours or four hours in your class. Get some rest. Don't push yourself too much, but prepare and read the stuff that you need first and then get some rest. I say like one day before the test, I, I say you get enough rest because I mean the test is going to be like in a long period of time and I say uh, rest uh, prevents you from making mistakes in grammar and sentences and uh, the word choices that you're going to use for your else test. I say that's what's, that's what's important. Yeah. Uh, you need to study about writing skills, speaking skills, reading skills and listening skills also. What is your best skill? My best skills, I think, listening, reading skills, uh, because uh, I tend to uh, listen to YouTube a lot, listen to podcasts a lot. I think that is very helpful as well. To find this hard question from uh, from the passage and probably my listening. How long have you been learning IELTS? It's about two years since I was grade 10. Um, two years. I've been learning IELTS two years. What's your core target? I want to have the highest score but in reality i guess 7 7.5 is enough for me this is the only the only girls in our class for today what is important to prepare ielts test for your reading speaking um writing and also listening you need to have like a lot of exercise like you need to read a lot and also you have to like somebody to make you speak uh, at home or at school What's your best skill um, I think speaking and listening. What's your target? Probably eight. <laughs> what is your target? I mean score. Uh, I hope I can get an eight. Eight overall and 6.5 for each bit. Is it possible to learn child alone? I don't think so because with speaking you need to speak with your peers and with writing you need someone to give you the prompt to write. Yeah, it's, it's possible you can read. Uh, there's a book called IELTS score 7.5 so if you study it properly, you will get a minimum band of 7.5. The first is skill of the vocabulary of the English itself. Because we can improve our uncommon words used to practice some uncommon words in listening or speaking. My best skills is in writing and speaking. What is important in the IELTS preparation? I think it's important if you practice more, like every day consistently. If you don't have a tutor or a teacher, you need to just look up on YouTube, like the examples to get example 9 and IELTS, and just study the person every day. Can we practice alone at home? I think you can by that method. I just got like 7 in speaking by doing that method consistently every day. Yeah, I think everyone who's doing that method also will have a good like an IELTS score overall. Uh, my preparation for the IELTS test tomorrow is I need to get some rest because I'm sick right now. He's not feeling well today. Is it possible to study at home? It is very possible to study at home. If you want to get a better score in the IELTS, you have to study at home too. As well. What is your best preparation for IELTS uh, mock test tomorrow? Maybe review some of them online and like that. But some of them online before doing the mock test, maybe uh, prepare them at home before going to what is your best skill now best skill at home maybe speaking i say if i'm not mistaken i've been preparing for this IELTS test for three months i say I, I i guess more but i don't remember but i think uh i'm kind of ready for the IELTS test my best skills i'd say uh, my prediction would be probably speaking because for writing there's just too much uh there's too much uh, like factors like such as grammar and then repetition and more but for speaking for me, I think uh, I've been speaking English for since I was a toddler, so I guess it will be easier for me.